What's up, wonderful world? It's your girl, Savannah, and today I will be showing you a 4th of July inspired makeup look. In my makeup looks, I'm really trying to have it lighter on the skin, heavier on the eyes, and enhancing my natural features. As of now, 4th of July is tomorrow, so let's get right into this video. Let's start off by putting our hair back. Since I'm so sunburned, I'll be going in with the Aloe Facial Spray from Mario Badescu. Sorry, I can't pronounce things. We'll be using a lot of that. Once that's dry, I'm going to be going in with some face primer. I'll be using the NYX Angel Veil. Again, since I'm so sunburned, I'll be going in with the LA Pro Concealer in this green shade. You also might be able to tell that my face is peeling, so that is great. Now it's time to go in with some foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation in the shade Warm Porcelain. I just kind of like squirt some out and dab it onto this brush. As I said earlier, I really want this to be a light foundation, so we need to go in with some concealer due to this sunburn. So I'm going to be going in with some Age Rewind Concealer just a little bit. Maybelline, sorry, Maybelline. Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. Now to prime our eyes, we'll be using some other concealer. <laughs> to prime our eyes, we're going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Ivory. Also add a little bit on the sunburn again. This is, I mean, obviously these are little extra steps you don't have to do for the sunburn. Unless you're sunburned, then maybe you want to, but it's just what I need to do. Now we look like a ghost. Ooh. To set my eyes, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Powder in the shade Banana. Pat, pat, pat. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to add some color into our face. So I'll be using this e.l.f. palette, Total Face palette, and using this light bronzy shade. Use a lot because it's not very pigmented, but that's okay. Make sure you blend it into your hairline as well. Now going in with the darker shade, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Contour pa Contouring Palette. Uh, this is a lot more pigmented, so use sparingly. Like, now it's time for some blush. I'm going back in with the e.l.f. Total Face Palette using both colors here. Is it flashing the camera? Like, <laughs> Now that we have some color in our face, let's move on to highlighter. I use a gel highlighter or cream highlighter, sorry, and just do a little like swig up with my finger and apply that. Just kind of do circular motions of where I want, over where I want the highlight. That little excess I put on my nose, my cupid's bow, and in the corner of my eye. You want your highlighter to be brighter than those fireworks, because you know, maybe you're a firework. <laughs> Once you're finished with that, you're gonna put some powder highlighter over that. I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Own Aurora. Glow Kit Palette, and I'll be using this shade right here. I can't see that, but I hope you guys can. Now on to my favorite part of my makeup routine. That's the eyes. I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O Palette, and we're going to first go in with this shade right here. Next, we'll be going in with this green -ish shade here under our eyes. Next, going in with this darker brown right here. Now we're gonna go in with our lid shade, which is this sparkly shade here. Um, a little goes a long way, so use sparingly. I don't have a viewfinder, so I kinda just hope for the best. Yeah, so I really hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Now to give it a little bit more of a pop of red, we're going to be using this maroon shade here. And then you finish with the eyes. And now we got to do our brows. I use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade 
it off. I use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Blonde. It's a gel and it tints it, so it's like it holds it in place and it gives it color. Since I'm so pale, I don't like to use a whole lot of color in my brows because it looks they look dark enough as it is. I'll insert a picture of how I used to do my brows and how dark they were. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Dip. Dip brow? Dip pompade? Whatever. If you would like to create this amazing look, and uh, yeah, that was not pretty, guys. So to all my friends who said it looked good. They were lying. Fake friends. Now time for some mascara. You gotta like curl those lashes first though. Curl them hard. On the top, I'll be using the L'Oreal Telescope Mascara. I highly recommend this mascara if you have really long lashes because it like, I don't, I don't know. It does the trick for me. It, 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 I love this mascara, it is my favorite. But for my bottom lashes, I use a black brown mascara to give it a little bit more of a softer look. And just copy this on the other side. Okay, let's see if I can get it ready. Ba-boom. I really hope that worked out because, yeah. Now to finish off this look, I'm going in with this Revlon lipstick. It's in the shade Toast of New York, so. And on top of that, I'm putting some lip oil. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil in the shade Cranberry Plus Pomegranates. Time to let that hair down. Oh, yeah. My gosh, my lips match my sunburn. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I never wear lipstick because it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's just so much. I always feel like it's too much. Like, it's like such a... What are your guys' thoughts on lipstick? Because I just feel like it's such an extra thing, but leave a comment. Like, what, what are your guys' opinions on lipstick? Too much? Not enough? Always wear it? Never wear it? Let me know. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, wow, that was really like, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, I guess you give it a thumbs down, but ideally, you just give me a constructive comment in the comment sections. So if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I shall be posting videos once a week on Fridays with the exception of this video because 4th of July is tomorrow. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.